Hi there, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of working with layouts and map frames in ArcGIS Pro, um, particularly how you manipulate your data and, and move around um, in each one of them. So I've got this um, very poor demonstration here of power plants in Utah. So I need to add a new layout, first of all, to get the paper that I'm going to compose my map on. I'm going to stick with portrait because Utah is oriented that way. Then I'm going to draw my map frame. Okay, so the, I think the most important thing to know is that we've got this page that we want to compose on and I can zoom in and out using the scroll or I can, um, on my layout, I can use this little button with the, the arrows to zoom to the full extent so that I can see my page. But if I want to zoom in and out on the map itself, I need to activate this map frame. And so I right click anywhere on it and activate. And now you can see the papers grayed out, but I can use my scroll to zoom in and out and I can pan within that window. So one shortcut is to use the shift key. And when I press that down, I get a um, magnifying lens. And if I click, hold, and drag a rectangle, it's going to try and force that shape that I just drew to center and fit in my map frame window. Um, you can use the plus and minus keys when you're active like this to zoom in and out in steps. So like, let's just say I didn't like the way I did that. I can just use the minus key to zoom back out, grab the shift, and try drawing my shape again. And then I can pan you know, to make small adjustments. Then, if I want to go back to composing my page, I need to close out of this layout and freeze it the way it is. And now I can pick up this map frame and move it around, but the contents are frozen. Um, if I wanted to insert a locator map or a detail, like an inset map, what I would want to do is insert a new map, which creates a whole different um, working project, but then in my layout, I can insert a new map frame, but this time reference that new one, and then I can draw a space for it. And you can see now I have in my layout two different maps, map one and two, that I can still function, I can work on them separately. Any changes I make are going to dynamically update over here. So those are some of the ticks and trips, <laughs> tips and tricks. I am not re-recording this <laughs> of working with layouts and map frames. <laughs>